as far as they're finding their particular interest, their particular passion, those things that they do well. Dr. Tom Osborne was in Fairbury on Wednesday to discuss the importance of the teammates mentoring program. During the day's meetings, several mentors gave testimonies about their experiences with the teammates program. You know, um, you know we'd start out and rolling the dice and then the conversation would start. And, I mean, half those are like Yahtzee games, we never finished because in that hour, he just wanted to talk. So find that one hour a week if you can, if you just think about it, and use it to make a difference in a kid's life. I mean, you'll be glad you did just by that smile. February Mayor Homer Ward signed a proclamation for the City of February's support of the Teammates Program. Osborne gave several examples of his time with the program, as well as provided many stats that showed how the mentees benefit from the Teammates Program. Some football players who are mentoring 22 7th and 8th graders in Lincoln Public Schools. And so uh, obviously it's grown quite a bit since then. Currently mentoring about 8,000 kids. And we're roughly 150 uh, school districts. Of course, Fairbury is one of them. And um, our greatest need probably is, is mentors. Found that in about 85% of the matches that attendance at school improved. That sounds like kind of a simple thing. But if attendance improves, um, that's uh, a very good uh, uh, bulletproof method of keeping kids from dropping out of school. Because the number one predictor, precursor of somebody dropping out is declining attendance. So uh, obviously graduation rates get better. And uh, we have found that our graduation rate in teammates is about 90%. Osborne's final stop of the day in February was at the Berkeley Fine Arts Center at the Fairbury High School, where he spoke with the public. Before his speech to the public, Dr. Osborne was presented with a February Jeffs jacket on behalf of the Fairbury Journal News and the Fairbury Booster Club. I was given a uh, Fairbury Jeff jacket, which I will wear with great pride and uh, appreciate that. You may not Along with testimonies, stats, and recollections, Osborne also included several bits of humor in his speeches. Vincent came up to me one day, was a very old little guy, and he said, Grandpa, he said, make a noise like a frog. And I was kind of surprised, and I said, crow, crow, bad imitation. But he seemed to be okay with it, and um, pretty soon I heard him talking to my granddaughter and his little sister. And he's telling her it wouldn't be long before they'd be going to Disneyland. And I called him over and I said, Will, what's this about going to Disneyland? I hadn't heard anything about it. He says, yeah. He said, Mom always says when Grandpa croaks, we're going to go to Disneyland. <laughs> so it's a bit a little more challenging. <laughs> I but I guess uh, the good news, I haven't croaked yet. Anyway. Reporting for February TV, I'm Trevor Gill.